absent parents, her aunt Cloda and brother Ryan, eavesdropped nervously from the kitchen. Oh my god, I said it to them before, like I was what talking, I was like, oh god, I hope it's not Phil, and they what? were like, why? And I was like, I know he'll be the one that'll make it easier for people to say no. <laughs> oh, oh no. really, yeah? Yeah, I knew it. I know it was really hard and I know that the 12 of us can't be picked no matter how much you want to do it, like, I know it can't happen, so. And you want it. Oh, do I want it? Mm. Yeah, of course I want it. Mm. My God, I'm sure I told you up there every single day it was mm. all I wanted, but I understand, like, it's grand. I know mm. that we can't all have it. You're in the band. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! since all Sinead knows is that she's leaving for Dublin and will return only for a few days at Christmas. It wasn't just Sinead's excellent voice that impressed the judges. Her good humour meant she was a favourite with everyone. Sinead is the first to arrive at the band's new home. The idea is that this location is large enough to house the band, secluded enough not to draw attention to them, and convenient to make grooming a new act possible. Linda Martin welcomes Sinead to her new abode. 